Ross and welcome to my first vlog so I thought I'd give this a go um yeah so this is my vlog of London Film and Comic Con Spring so yeah this will be a fun I'm a, I'm, a, I'm attending Saturday the 2nd of March and Sunday the 3rd of March I have things to do on both days you'll see in this video and yeah so I really hope you enjoy this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, enjoy. Obviously, get on the social medias and that, but yeah, enjoy this video. <laughs> guys I hope you enjoyed that footage I got well there was not much but um, yeah I kind of forgot to film most of the stuff so I thought I'd just do a quick wrap up video what who I met what I brought blah 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 all that nonsense so before the event I purchased one of these if you're a Comic Con goer you know what they are they are, if you're an NFCC goer, you know what they are. They are the diamond passes for guests. Now, I've had one of these before for Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future. But this time, I brought one for... John Sim. There he is there. As the master. If you see it. There we go. So, this only cost me £70, I think. Where the autograph and the picture were both £35 each, so I thought, yes. Wait, were they 35 or 30 I, I'm not sure. But yeah, so I thought, go for it. And he was the first person I got a photo with on the Saturday. Nearly missed the time slot because of travel and all that. So, but yeah, I got it. And here it is. It's been put into a frame I brought on the day at the event. So here it is. Oh, here we go. So, John Sim is Miriam the Master from Doctor Who, yes. He's also in many other things. You know John Sim. You'll know his face. Um, yeah, I mean, John was fine. He seemed very happy. Seemed like he didn't really, like, he didn't expect all the uh, attention he was being given. I don't know. Might, might have just been me that thought that. So, but yeah. I then went... What did I do after? Hmm. I then went and... I then went and got... One action figure. And this was the only action figure I bought at the event. I, I could have spent a lot of money. But this was... It's, it, it was quite cheap when I brought it. So, I thought, why not? And it's the Marvel Selects Thanos. Which I really do like, I think. It's really great. It comes with two heads, the head on the figure and a spare head. Uh, that cost me £20. So I thought, yeah, why not go for it, you know, have a gander with it. So I brought it. Um, I then went across to this. This is what I took to get signed. The Doctor Who poster. Let me just see if I am correct. What I did next. Yes, I am. I went... <clears throat> then to get the John Sim autograph on my poster. 
now if I can try and show it, would this work? Let me see if this, there we go, that's John Sim right there, that one there. So yeah, that's the John Sim autograph, so now I have the master on here, uh, which is great, fantastic. I then scooted across and I met Jacqueline King, who if you've watched Doctor Who plays Donna's mum in season four, and she signed it. Uh, let me bring the top up. Should have thought about this before I done the video. But hey ho. Right. There's Jacqueline King there. At the bottom of the TARDIS there. Uh, Jacqueline King was absolutely probably the nicest person I've ever met. Um, she was so kind. She cared about everyone that came up to her and said hi to her and she really took the time to talk to anyone. She spoke to my granddad for a long time, said he was hot, asked him if he was hot. Yeah, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a mad one. She's <laughs> So yeah, so um that was good. I then went and got the Doctor Who comic for the event. There was only five hundred a day and I thought, oh, I'm not gonna get it. There's no chance of me getting it. And then they had these throughout the whole weekend so I don't think many people got them, so I, I thought, I'm gonna, and then I went and got, there was this guy selling six comics, six random comics for £3. I went and got two sets of them. In this one I got Iron Man, Superman, Superman, Justice League, X-Force and Spider-Man. Yeah, so, and then I got another one, another six, and this one I got six, the Secret Defenders, Fantastic Four. Team Titans, Magneto, Superman, The Final Night, and another Superman. I don't think any of them are the same, but I haven't had a proper look at all of them. And then when I've got this, which is, it's, I thought it was the Infinity Gauntlet comic, but it's the Guardians of the Galaxy comic. So yeah, a bit of pain to tender for that, it's not bad. And I've got two Doc Two comics. One of them's rare Comic Con 2014 exclusive, and the other one's just look at this man, look. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that was three pound and seven pound. The rare one was seven pound. Um, what else did I do? I went and met. <clears throat> oh oh oh! I've messed that up, and I sorry guys, sorry guys. Um, I went and met uh, Vinette Robinson, who played Rosa Parks in season eleven of Doctor Who. Um, had a nice chat with her, said how the episode was very emotional and how, the, if you've seen the episode, you know what happens uh, at the end of the episode. Um, I said it was such an emotional moment, even though I knew it was coming. But yeah, she, she, she gave me some, she said the director just put the music on randomly. If you know, obviously the music was very heart touching. So yeah, and I've got her on my poster, obviously. I had to, so uh, Vinette is over there. Uh, once again, let me roll this up. Vinette Robinson, very nice uh, signature, I must say. So, I then, <laughs> I then went and had a photo shoot with Bernard Cribbins and Jacqueline King, uh, Donna's granddad and nan from Doctor Who. Bernard Cribb has been in loads of things. It's the third time I've met Bernard, I think. So, he's always a laugh. He's always such a good character to me. Great, great man. And, yeah, so, I went and got there. Bernard was absolutely hilarious during this shoot. He was cracking jokes with everyone. Everyone that walked up to him, he was saying something different. It was, it was nice, yeah. And then he said, oh, I'm going to stop that because it's getting, it's getting a bit boring now, isn't it? And then someone else walked in and say something else right as they were taking a photo. So, yeah. Here's my one. There's Bernard and Jack. Let me ignore that signature for a minute. So there's Bernard. Bernard, actually, there was a woman behind me in the queue who was dressed head to toe in sparkles. She looked amazing. And he was saying, you should see who's next, pretty much. So, I then went after the photo shoot. Me and my granddad, who I went with, was sitting down at the, somewhere near Jacqueline King's table. And I said, I'm gonna go and get this signed by her. So she wrote two Ross, what a giggle. Best wishes, Jacqueline King. 
nicest guest I've ever met in my life. She just said it was a joy, it was fun. Yeah, so thanks Jacqueline King. Right, so the next one, I think that was it for what I did on the Saturday, I do believe. Yep, that's all I did on the Saturday. Um, the Sunday was much more relaxed, it was very empty, the, uh, the event was very empty. Saturday was, weren't that bad, but it was still quite full. The Sunday was quite empty, I'm not going to lie. Um, I start, the first thing I had to do that day was a photo op with this man. This is Colin Baker, the sixth doctor. Now I've met Colin before twice, but I've never got a photo with him, so went and got it done. Uh, he's already on my poster. I met him at MCM in October, and yeah, Colin, Colin was he's always Colin's always great. I love the sixth doctor. I think he's very underrated. So yeah, I then went across and got two autographs on my poster for that day. The two I got were, oh no, I've got three, sorry, were Sarah Sutton there, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom, very nice signature there, who played Nyssa in Series 4 of oh, Doctor Who, not Series 4, The Fourth Doctor, Fourth Doctor's Companion, and also The Fifth, I think, I, I do believe, and also William Russell. If you could just see it there. He played Ian Chesterton in the first Doctor Who stories. So the first Doctor William Hartnell, he was with him. I think it was Companion, I'm not sure. I do need to re-watch a lot of it. Then I went to my second photo shoot of the day, which was with this man. It was a very Doctor Who event, I must say. The seventh Doctor, Sylvester McCoy. It's me. It's Sylvester. Sylvester's all, always... Um, Always happy, always uh, bubbly, and it was nice to meet him again. I did meet him back in 2017, I do believe. Yeah, I got my autograph 8x10 in 2017, but I did get a photo, so it was nice to complete the set. And yeah, Sylvester also on the Saturday, I did forget to mention I met Sylvester on the Saturday, um, signed my poster over here. So Sylvester McCoy is there. So I now had this signed by Doctors 6, 7 and 8, The Master, Bernard Cribbins, who played Wilfred Mark, Jacqueline King, William Russell, Sarah Sutton, and Vinette Robinson. So yeah, so overall the event was good. Um, it was a lot better than the summer ones. I think the summer ones are very, are very quiet. Um, they're usually very hot and very busy and you don't usually get to meet any of your guests. I met more guests than I planned to at this one, so it was it was fun. Uh yeah. So um thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um I will be back next week with another one. But yeah. Thank you for watching like share and subscribe and get on the socials that are in the description below and yeah thank you for watching see you in a bit geezers <laughs>